think of Blast, I honestly feel like they were the quintessential California hardcore band. Like, they skated and they surfed and they fucking jammed, you know? And they were just like an explosion live. The first time I met Blast was in 1987 when I was playing drums with the band Scream. It was nuts. They were loud as shit. They were so super loud, so tight. The way Clifford would, would like stomp every time he fucking sang something, he'd fucking stomp on the ground. It was just so weird. I'd never seen a band like that before in my life. And we were, I was absolutely blown away. <laughs> fucking chaos you know like I think that's a lot of the thing that's missing from stuff these days is that dangerous element like you would go to shows and yeah. you didn't know what was gonna fucking happen oh, it, yeah. it felt exhilarating but scary yeah and it drew it drew you in you know it's in my so to work on this stuff when Greg Anderson asked me if we could do it here at the studio, I said, yeah, yeah, let's take a listen to what's on the tapes. And that was a funny time for recording, you know, the 80s, you would put all this shit on your recording to try to make it sound bigger. You know, you put like fucking delay and echo on everything because you thought that was making it sound better, you know? When you listen to stuff from that time now, it's kind of funny to think like, wow, well, what if it just sounded like the band in a room with these closed mics right in your fucking face uh, where there was like this definition or clarity to it where it was just like, where it sounded like blast live. So we listened to the stuff and we thought, well, let's maybe use that approach. Let's go in, take off all the other stuff, any echo or reverb or flange or any of that stuff and listen to the natural sounds and then just make them sound huge without putting stuff in there. Cause it's already there, you know, like the, sound of the band is there. It's just a matter of like pulling it straight to the front. We just wanted to push the limits as hard as we could. Like really break away from convention. Do stuff that was really, really different. You know, it's funny when you revisit an album that you loved so much back then and you listen to it now, it always brings you back to the way you were. And um, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool experience. Just watch this world die!